All right, I think we'll kick things off. I am not Josh Long. I'm wearing a collared shirt, so that would be your, your first hint. Uh, my name is Richard Sroder. I work with Pivotal and with the help of Steve from ECS team, now CGI. We put together this Java track, so we thought we'd kick things off with a little context about how we set this up, hopefully why uh, this will be an interesting track for you. So obviously Java big, Java's relevant. If this was just about big old tech, it'd be, a, I guess, a cold fusion track, which it's not. So we're trying to talk about Java. Java is important. Redmonk just did their language survey last week, and Java was the number two language on the planet after JavaScript. And this base is on Stack Overflow questions, GitHub activity. So Java's everywhere. People are all using it like crazy. That's great. But we're not just using it to keep the lights on. Right? I mean, people are using Java to build crazy web scale apps. If you're Netflix, you're building real-time data pipelines, reactive front ends. They're embedding Spring Boot into medical devices. Like, that's crazy great stuff. So this is not technology that's just about old stuff. It's about new stuff as well. And what's exciting about some of the new stuff is that start.spring.io, which, of course, Josh will show off, 400,000 projects created there last month. So we're building prototypes. We're building new enterprise apps. We're building microservices. You're building it hundreds of thousands of times per month. If you look at downloads of Spring Boot, we're at almost 20 million times a month. That's one of the most downloaded packages on the internet right now after, I guess, Holy Chat. Some other things that are actually more popular, but 20 million times a month, that's awesome. So you're seeing some great technology here that I think proves Java's not just good for your company, it's good for your career. And so we tried to build a track that was around four things. You're gonna hear some case studies, you're gonna get some product updates, you're gonna get some how-to information, and then some pretty cool panels. So over the next couple of days, we're covering a few things. We're gonna kick off today with Josh Long. He's gonna talk about cloud-native Java. If you don't finish his talk with five things to do yourself, you're probably dead inside, because he's very exciting. And it's gonna give you a lot of new things you wanna play with. But then we're gonna cover a lot more things today. We're gonna to hit the build pack update. The build pack for Java, really impressive work. If you're pushing Java apps, the work that team has done on the build pack is super impressive. So that's gonna be a great talk. Another talk on finding performance issues, because hey, I know I don't build applications that have performance problems, but I'm sure you do. So you wanna make sure you can troubleshoot those and figure those out. Also some work on over-engineering. There's a good talk from Verizon about how they actually do Cloud Foundry and how they do Java at scale at that company. Good talk on doing Cloud Foundry with Java specifically. What are the things baked into Cloud Foundry that make Java microservices, cloud native patterns a realistic thing for you? So that's gonna be a fun talk. And then wrapping up today with some talk on multi-cloud. So again, that's a, something we all care about as we think about where do we put our workload, so that should be a good one. Tomorrow we're gonna cover some good things. Azure and Google Cloud. How do we use those brokers to talk to our Java apps and microservices and use these multi-cloud first-party services? We're gonna talk a little bit about decomposing monoliths because there are a lot of big existing Java applications out there. How do we make sure we actually start to break those apart? So there'll be some good lessons learned about what that is. It should be a fun talk from Jules on containers because, hey, if you're not doing containers, or I guess serverless now, you're, you're a complete Luddite. So we wanna talk about containers and why do those matter and where do they not matter? So Jules will talk about that. We'll also be talking about contracts, Spring Cloud Contract, HCSC will be talking with Pivotal about how they actually do real-time data streaming with Spring Cloud Dataflow. That should be pretty exciting stuff. And then we also wrap up with a couple panels. So the first panel is gonna be looking at what does the modern web app stack look like? We brought in some experts to talk through that, hopefully yell at each other, throw chairs. And then there's gonna be a security panel that also looks at, we brought in some people at each layer of the stack and I'm hoping they all point out each other's vulnerabilities to make it more exciting but they're gonna be covering where does security look in a microservices stack and how can you actually architect well. So this whole track is trying to make sure we point out that Java is doing some interesting stuff. You yourself, if you've been doing it for years, great, you'll pick up some new stuff. If you wanna pick up Java for the first time, this should hopefully get you excited about the projects out there in Spring and JEE world, all these different ways you can use Java to build some really great cloud native and, and microservices apps. So with that, I thought I'd start things off with uh, my friend Josh Long to come up here and do some cloud native Java for you all and you will pay for your whole seat. You'll only need the edge of it because he's gonna keep things exciting. So Josh. 